So as you can see, um, version 9 software has arrived. Most of you are going to want to make sure that you have the teal colored box that says version update. It also says Wi-Fi coupon included, which means the Wi-Fi device is not in here. And whereas it would have been nice to have the Wi-Fi device with, I appreciate Bernina for getting the actual software to us uh, as opposed to waiting for the physical device. Uh, again, this, the chips, it's the times with the pandemic and everything else that's happening. So thank you, Bernina, for um, redesigning your packaging in essence in order to get the um, the software to us. So what I have here, when you open this up, there's going to be plastic on it. Make sure you take that away. There's also, um, you're going to want to take like a little uh, knife, razor knife, and just cut this seal off of here because otherwise this will not slide forward. Uh, I spent a good while wondering why this was not moving forward. This top lid here has like, it seems like a little magnet on it, so at first you might not think this is how it opens, but it is. So you just kind of open this thing up, and inside you're going to see the contents. This is very important. This is your, um, your program that you can install once again on up to three computers. You can install it onto a fourth or even a fifth computer, but you need to release the license on one of the initial three computers in order to run it on that fourth, fifth, etc. computer. So this is um, a much better improved licensing system. And again, I thank Bernina for making it not so um, complicated as far as getting a license off of a computer and putting it on a new one. So if you do happen to have a computer that um, you are going to sell or it's kind of reached its expiration date, uh, consider either A, getting a new computer before um, installing the software on, uh, or if you do buy a computer afterwards, take the license off of the computer that you, uh, the old computer, before you sell it or get rid of it. Uh, that's the that's a caveat. Um, this was a nice gesture by Bernina. There's a coupon here, so you want to hang on to this. Uh, it allows, in essence, uh, twenty dollars worth of purchasing on um, OESD's website, which was uh, kind. So I appreciate them for that. Uh, this is a little quick uh, installation guide. Please read through this, but I'm going to go through with you guys the uh, the procedure here. They do say that it is much less comp convoluted than version 8 software was to install, and we'll see this together uh, when I do it live for you. This is very important, this little card here. It has the license um, registration code, if you will, for your software on the back side of it. So that's the contents of the packaging. And what we'll do next is we'll go over to the computer and I'll show you how this is done. And we'll keep our fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly, which I'm sure it will. So welcome to my um, computer desktop. I have you here before starting the update procedure um, for the software because I want you to understand how to create a Windows uh, Restore Point. And this is a really good idea anytime you are installing new software or updating prior software. If you create a Restore Point and something goes wrong, theoretically, you can go back to that reset Restore Point and it will, in essence, revert the computer back to the state it was in prior to your activity. So, easiest way to find that is just to go to your taskbar and type in create a restore point and you'll see it right up here and so I'm going to go ahead and click here it's going to go to my to my main hard drive which is my system hard drive and I'm going to click on create and so when I click on create I want to name this uh, before Bernina V9 installation and I'll click on create. Your computer also, Windows generally will create a restore point periodically so that you can go back um, to a prior state of the system uh, but it's not necessarily exactly where you want it to be so it might be like two days before um, if it was done automatically so it's always good to manually create the point just like I did here. So I read through the little um, the little ins install guide, 
and um, one of the things it says is if you have if you have purchased an update or upgrade version attach the hardware dongle of your previous version now V8 had a install USB stick similar to V9 I don't think they consider that a dongle but I have uh, my software that I'm updating from is actually version 6 so I have a version 6 dongle handy I have version 8 on this computer so we'll just have to see if it asks me for a dongle if it does ask me for a dongle it might be because it does not consider the dealer version of version 8 to be um, valid in other words I have to have a consumer version I don't know the answer because I'm doing this live with you in essence it's recorded but it's live as I'm recording this so we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and plug the USB stick in that's that little white one that came with the computer and I have this little dialogue here and they said that if it does not um, say insert the stick and if it does not uh, wait for the welcome screen so I can I can wait to see if a welcome screen is going to come up and let's see I'm just gonna get out of that is there any welcome screen I don't see a welcome screen coming up yours might mine didn't so it says uh, alternatively start the installation manual by double click manually by double clicking the setup exec which is this one here not setup BMP that's just the pretty picture it's a setup exe that you want so I'm going to double click on that and this is going to give me this um, dialog that we've seen when we've installed other software and I'm going to go ahead and click on yes and this is what may come up with your on your screen initially On many of these installation programs you do have to be patient uh, so this is me just being patient it's installing security device drivers Now we're greeted with this screen here. Welcome to the install shield for Bernina version 9 software. And please close all other running programs and click next to continue. Now I do have my Camtasia running, so I'm hoping that that will not uh, mess things up, but I need to record this for y'all. So uh, let's just see what happens here. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to accept the terms. and accept these end user agreement and I'm going to go ahead and do the complete don't do the custom that's for advanced users and I'm certainly not that so I'm going to say complete all program features will be installed and I don't need any additional languages so I'm not going to check any of those it's going to install in this location uh, understand that version 9 software is a 64-bit program so it's going to be under the program files not the program files x86 which I think the prior program which ran as a 32-bit program um, was installed so uh, all your computers now modern computers should be 64-bit um, computers in essence which gives us the ability to have like more RAM uh, so instead of having four gigabytes of RAM now many computers have 8, 16, 32 this computer has 64 
I'm going to go ahead and click Next. So this is important. This is showing me that the program sees version 8 software. Again, my program is a dealer copy. We're going to see how this goes. But do you see how the prior version was in Program Files x86? It was a 32-bit program. I don't want to merge my um, installation settings with this prior program, and I would recommend that you do not as well. So the default is I do not wish to merge, and I would go with that. And then it says, okay, click to begin the installation. If you want to review any changes, you can back up in the program, of course, and that would be by clicking this back, but I'm going to go ahead and install. And it looks like the first thing it's doing is installing the um, the Corel Draw program. Again, I'm just going to let this run so you can see how much time this takes. Your time might also vary. A lot of it depends on um, what components you have in your computer. Um, but they all should be around the same. Most modern computers are going to be all about the same. Uh, I may have already mentioned, but in the brochure and on the Bernina website, they do talk about the minimum requirements that you need to have for your computer. Um, such as the monitor display resolution, uh, amount of RAM, amount of hard drive space. Uh, these, these things are on the Bernina website and they're also in the documentation that came with the um, upgrade. Looks like we're at about 71% complete. So I brought up my web browser, which is interesting. I'm not seeing anything I need to sign in for this, so I'm just going to minimize this. It's going to continue to install now. You can see here it's installing the fabrics, the Benner ticks from 2013.
can see up here it just installed the main program and this is the Wi-Fi connecting uh, icon. None of us have the Wi-Fi devices. I did put out uh, a note to the store to see if they got a physical device and if they did to send it to me so I can make some videos for that. Um, I haven't heard back yet but I just sent it out uh, the note out about an hour ago. You can see down here, this is the new Corel. Notice it's 64-bit. It's no longer the 32-bit version. now installing the um, embroidery designs. Okay, and so now it's going to ask me to um, to restart my computer where it does the the final um, components. I'm going to you'll just say yes, finish. But I'm recording this, so I'm going to close my computer down a little more gently than just restarting. So I'm going to say no. I will restart my computer later. So let me click here, and let me click on finish. And so that process finished. And as I just clicked finish. The timer on the Camtasia, which is my recording software, came out at 14 minutes. So it was, um, at least at this point, it was a fairly direct forward um, uh, install. I will say that um, it did not ask me to do things such as um, close out my my malware um, bytes or your any virus protection software. It did not say anything to the effect of disable your firewall. Uh, enable all cookies or all these other settings we had in version 8. So uh, I'm going to um, close this video part out. I will turn it back on in a second and uh, record when I reboot this computer. But if it does restart, I will say that the installation was a lot less convoluted. And so kudos for Bernina for doing that. Uh, that that's a great, it's been a, a fairly easy install up to this point. So I'm going to stop the video here and uh, we'll be back shortly. So we're back and I rebooted the computer. I'm also recording this now with an external camera rather than have Cam uh, Camtasia uh, record the software internally. So hopefully you can see I've got this message. It just rebooted saying that the V9 software has been successfully installed. You may now run the software. So what they mean by that, when you click OK, you want to go to this icon here. There's several icons that were installed on your computer. One of them is the V9. This one here is the one for your uh, Wi-Fi connector that we'll eventually have. Uh, this is for the Corel Draw component of the com computer uh, program. Uh, this is Corel Photo Paint, and this is Corel Capture. So these icons exist on your desktop. You do not need to leave de these icons on the desktop. Um, Anytime you see, uh, and I'll hopefully zoom in here, anytime you see a little arrow pointing into the icon, that means that it is only um, a shortcut to the program, so you're not going to delete the program uh, if you don't want to leave the icons here. They will be in your program files, but remember, you look at the C drive program, uh, programs, not programs, parenthesis, x86, because again, this is 64-bit. So the main icon is the one that looks like the big letter capital D on a uh, magenta background. And I'm going to go ahead and just double click here, which will hopefully uh, load the software.
and it says to go ahead and sign in with your software account uh, or you can go ahead and create uh, new to Bernina 9 software uh, you can um, sign up now now I did have when I did the um, when I did the what's that called um, trial version I did create an account with Bernina so I'm going to put in my credentials here and see if that um, if that still works for this so um, you can learn by my mistakes uh, but let me go ahead and put in those credentials and uh, I will be right back and let you know um, if it worked so I'm back and um, just a little um, uh, gosh it's done the update because it's seen that you had version 8 software or a prior version and you need to use the dongle if you have version 7 or version 6 it's a dongle activation at that point um, you'll get this screen which is to install the link to Corel Draw, and we want to go ahead and do that of course so I'm going to say yes to install the link that way when you click on artwork canvas it um, it, it installs um, it brings up Corel Draw, so that's the link that they're talking about and we're just going to say yes to this And then this is where you're going to be putting in your credentials to um, to register for Corel. I already have an account uh, with Corel, so I would click up here so I don't have to fill all this in. I'm just going to say I already have an account. And then it's just going to ask for my email and password. I'm going to do this off camera. Be right back. So once you put in those credentials, you'll get a, sign, um, a little sign sheet says, that your product has been authenticated using your account for Corel. Now this is the Corel site. I'm going to click finish and it just brings up this little website thank you for registering which is fine. I don't need to see that now. And um, hallelujah, hallelujah. It looks like the software is up. And so um, what I am going to do is let me go ahead and I'm just going to close the software down sorry if my head's in the way periodically and let me just bring it back up and that did what I needed to do for it to do I should say now if you um, if you sign out of your uh, Corel or excuse me out of your um, out of your software then you would need to put those credentials back in um, I'm not going to do it at this point but if you notice in that uh, credential screen there is a checkbox where you could put in it's your email address and your password and then there's a little check mark saying keep me um, keep me signed in if I go under help you'll see there's some uh, reference manuals etc uh, down here over to the right side there are the videos and if I go into just in the embroidery canvas that brings up the um, the interface which is is a beautiful thing to see if I came up to um, file do you see how I can come down here just follow my cursor all the way down here sorry if my head's in the way again right down here where it says sign out and release license you only need to do that folks if 
again, if it's on more than three computers, if you want to have it on a fourth computer, you need to release one of the licenses in order to run it. You can only have three licenses, and you cannot run the software on two computers at the same time. Um, again, when you do that sign-in screen, don't forget to check that little check mark saying keep me signed in so you don't have to keep signing in in order to use the software. And that's the installation complete. Uh, my pulse has come down a bit, uh, but I'm glad that I did this for you um, because if you're like me, I just want to see someone else do it and we can't be together because of this darn COVID right now. Uh, but we'll be together soon. So thanks for joining me, guys, and um, let's have a lot of fun with the software together. Bye for now.